over the boat. got back from taking a shower. Thought I'd edit a video for you guys to see, fill you in on the projects, show you what I've come up with this week. I guess I'll just jump right in. You guys, I turned my driver's seat into a toilet. As you recall in the last video, if you watched it, I mentioned I wanted to turn my um, office chair into a toilet. I didn't really measure it out right, and when you sit on this, um, <laughs> like, it just, it's not enough space. And it's massive, the thing's massive. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> That's what I was talking about. No, you weren't. Mm -hmm. Okay, it goes up to like here and it just didn't work out. So I went ahead and turned the driver's seat into a toilet. All right. I'm just gonna go for it. It's not done, if it's, but it's close. Oh, there it is, folks. <laughs> Obviously there will be like a top over it and I, I was able to add a little bit of like spring So that when you sit down, it's not like you're sitting on like a hard surface, right? So it still kind of like does that it attaches to a septic line That's some hot glue <laughs> Hopefully that sticks and then I put this tank a six gallon tank underneath here and um, Attached the septic to it yeah, Jared says it looks like I have a bomb attached to my truck and that I might need to like put that somewhere else But um for now it's there problem is it needs to be lower than the toilet So if I go back and put it up into that spare area all anything that goes into the line is gonna get caught in the line So I think it has to kind of stay here and that's a six gallon tank. That'll work I'll probably do another six gallon tank for my gray water the toilet seat. I it's it's pretty small not gonna lie <laughs> but I think it'll do the job. And the reason why it's facing this way is because it's actually, you get more length, you get more bowl <laughs> if you sit facing this way. <laughs> it's freaking awesome. Trying to find a counter. That one's nice. This is 97 cents. This is, those are my kind of prices mm -hmm. for the mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're into those two digits. Oh. Oh. So I, I bought these at the What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Marble. That's that's kind of my it's style. Real trendy this right now. The is marble it? look. Is it? Yeah, girls are getting marble and everything. Sweatpants. <laughs> Forget iPhone cases. I thought you were gonna say tiny home Broncos. It's getting real trendy. <laughs> it will after I do it. <laughs> Any stone wall would look great in the tiny home Bronco. It really needs that accent stone wall. You know what I mean? How much are those? Ooh, it's my kind of price. Look at this. Wow, you can get this whole box for $5.49? That was 3 dollars I didn't end up buying any of that. I really want to save on weight and save cash. So I just picked up the cheapest and lightest piece of board that Home Depot offered. It was like seven bucks and I'll use that for my tabletop and the back of my couch, storage unit, etc. This is my dashboard. I put it back together as all of you told me to do. Uh, however, I decided to go ahead and modify it just a little bit because it's just so much space that I could use for other things. Look what I've designed. A half and half? A half and half. Wow, look at that. Dashboard so far. This is the only thing that I think I'll miss from California. Are the burritos. I'll show you how big the burritos are here. <laughs> piece here. Let's see if that helps it not fall over. more table space the better so I went ahead and welded together a little slot for a table to be able to pull out right there 
I went ahead and used a table that I don't use in the RV and cut it down. And it's cool because there's a map of the United States on there. Just need to mount these in place but um, yeah this is a hand pump so I won't have to worry about electricity for that the hose just came off but yeah then the five gallon water will sit underneath and then this will drain into another septic underneath there I put some pegs for the bed when it folds over it can sit on there but I might put this bar just to be safe in case I make a sharp turn and like the dogs go flying. Don't get jabbed. And I've just been playing around with slide outs, what I'm gonna have in this area and how I'm going to finish it off. If it's gonna be like a door on hinges or some curtains. Table here that pulls out. Oh, that's a good one. That one's Just so everyone skin. knows, oh, I, everything stuff. will be secure, oh. okay? Everything's going to be strapped down. Oh. There aren't going to be any hard corners. Just, I just haven't got to that point yet. Okay, okay. I need to make this softer. Oh, hold on. I need a moment. <laughs> I was going to show you guys my fold-out table. This pulls out. It's the table from the motor home. I cut it down. I'm dying. Okay. Oh, I got this attached. So this was the swing in my old house where all the kids would swing on it, and it's really cool. Yeah. You can put it anywhere you want. Unfortunately, I won't have storage like this in the Bronco, so I gotta use up supplies. What kind of paint do we have? Ooh, we got some wood stain. Stain the wood. That Kona wood stain is super dark, so I went ahead and put like linseed oil, I think it's what I had on first, and then just a little bit of brown on the uh, little scrubber I have in my hand, and darkened it up. It looks nice. It looks even better in, in person. Oh yeah. Jared made a donation to the Bronco Tiny Home. I love it. It's his, but I fell in love with it and I'm making it mine now. I know exactly where it needs to go. Trying to get a better idea of how much space I actually have in here. After I upload this video, I need to start like clearing out the RV again and downsizing again, which I can't even imagine doing. I mean, so yeah, uh, I'm trying to get an idea of what I actually can bring and what I got to say. Also, La Vista too. Like all my art is pretty much it all has to go. Unless I take it off the wood and like fold up the canvas, but. It's cute. I just can't believe how much space is actually in this thing. Like I've got space for days. I'm pretty excited. It's coming together. I really got to wrap up this interior. Oh, I decided to go ahead and throw a new transmission into the Bronco. Cause you know what? Why not? There's a lot to be done. The bourbon, I went to go Raptor line it, but the wrong Raptor liner came in and the stuff that I need now finally did come in. So I will probably be Raptor lining later this evening. I just don't stop like I haven't even taken the time to go down to 24 hour fitness and shower I just well, I did that this morning but finally after five days I was like hosing myself off in the hose because I'm just trying to work right like I'm just trying to I really 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 wanted to travel in October so I got to make that happen so I'm like okay wrap it up so my next video, I'm pretty excited about this. You guys are gonna see me finally install some solar panels. It looks like three are gonna fit up there instead of just two. And I'm gonna build a full on roof rack to support those so that I can put some stuff underneath the panels. It's gonna be dope. So I'm gonna go ahead and order one more and uh, now I can start designing the roof rack. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you on Morgan Monday. Oh, all bandaged up. My leg will live to see another day. She's welding my toilet seat together and broke my glass. I don't know what happened. <clears throat>
Park must have hit it.